You are watching The Book Club. Every Wednesday, we handpick the best books to improve your life. 15 Classic Books Everyone Should Read in Their Lifetime, Part 1. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome back. Today, we have a different kind of book video. Instead of making a list of recommendations made by some billionaire or influential person, we've decided to provide you, our esteemed Aluxers, with a list of the best classics everyone needs to read in their lifetime. Since there are quite a few great books to choose from, we'll not limit ourselves to only 15. We'll double that and make it 30. We always tell you guys to study books on business, self-help, and productivity in order to improve yourselves, but reading a fiction novel once in a while can relax and clear your mind. Even though most of these novels contain great lessons within their pages, and some may be even life-altering. Okay, enough with the intro. Let's jump straight in and see the 15 classic books everyone should read in their lifetime, part 1. Number 1. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen This timeless tale has captured readers' imaginations for many years now and is destined to do so for many more to come. Pride and Prejudice is such an incredible book because even though it was initially published over 200 years ago, the main themes are still relevant in our society today. Social class and reputation were crucial factors to determine whether someone would speak to you, associate with you in business, and even marry you. Through the protagonist Elizabeth Bennet, millions of readers have learned the importance of staying true to yourself in an English society where no one would marry you beneath their social class, even when love was involved. Honestly, we could go on talking about how social norms affect people's interactions with one another, and how love stories sometimes bloom when you don't expect, and overall about how great this book is, but we'll just let you see for yourself. Oh, and if you don't have this book, you can go to alux.com slash freebook and sign up. There, you can get the audiobook version for free. You can also use that URL to get any of the books we mention in this video, thanks to our partnership with Audible. Number 2. The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde we're not really sure. You're either going to love this striking novel or hate it. But one thing's for sure, the picture of Dorian Gray will glue you to the book for hours. The novel follows the story of a susceptible young man who inherits a great fortune and becomes a notorious symbol of evil and depravity. Oscar Wilde takes the reader on a journey starting with the heights of aestheticism and ending with the depths of decadence and moral corruption. Written in a sharp and penetrating way, this portrayal of a Faustian deal and its consequences will dazzle anyone who picks up this book. Number 3. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee This is a deeply moving book, full of drama and compassion, which takes the readers down the roots of human behavior. Lee's unforgettable novel mixes opposing feelings of love and hatred, humor and sadness, kindness and cruelty, all wrapped up in a man's relentless quest for justice, plagued by prejudice, hypocrisy, and violence. Number 4. Bleak House by Charles Dickens this is one of Dickens' most critically acclaimed novels that indelibly dramatizes our most basic human discords. With a vast array of colorful characters, the author portrays London's society of rich and poor in a masterful manner. This fascinating novel contemplates love, fear, and betrayal while revolving around an insidious conflict that arose from an inheritance. Number 5. War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy Sometimes you read a book and it makes you think about everything that's happening around you and you remind yourself to be more appreciative of everything you have. War and Peace is a thrilling examination of history, 
where the author brilliantly follows the lives of many characters from a variety of backgrounds, from peasants and nobles to soldiers and civilians, as they struggle with the obstacles in their path in that era. This sizable novel has plenty of contradictory aspects of life, such as love and hate, happiness and sadness, peaceful times and times of conflict, all wrapped up in the one idea that this book is one big celebration of life. Number 6. Persuasion by Jane Austen this is the second entry from Austen on this list, which goes to show you just how epic of a writer this woman was. Persuasion is another delightful novel that revolves around love and societal hierarchy that's regarded by some critics as Austen's most sentimental work. Readers of this book will definitely notice that even in her last masterpiece, Jane Austen's skill for fine, ironic observations on social norms, love and marriage, is as keen as it ever was. Number 7. The Color Purple by Alice Walker this modern classic brings to light another great story about freedom, passion, inspiration, and an impressive love for life. The story revolves around a young black girl who is born in poverty and segregation that discovers the power of her own spirit while taking charge of her own fate and heading toward freedom. Number 8. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott the author was inspired to write this endearing novel from her own life experience. The action is placed in the mid-19th century in New England, where four sisters show their love and devotion for each other while overcoming the hardships brought along with the Civil War. Generations of readers have explored along with this novel the timeless themes of love, death, and conflict between personal ambition and family responsibilities. Alcott had an irrefutable knack for pointing out the problems in society when it came to how women fit in, and that they too can contribute to the bettering of everyone. Number 9. The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas Here we have a novel with an incredibly powerful conflict between good and evil. Dumas utilizes every possible element to create a captivating drama. Love, suspense, intrigue, vengeance, triumph of good over evil, and a hero whose life gets incredibly complicated due to his own actions. Pretty much every reader has something to learn from either the moral of the story or the characters and apply it in their life. If we caught your interest with this one, you can go to alux.com slash freebook and sign up to get the audiobook version for free thanks to our partnership with Audible. What's better is you can use that URL to get any of the books we mention in this video. Number 10. The Outsiders by Susan Eloise Hinton Oh boy, here comes a writer that's not afraid to confront big issues and talk about hard truths in their work. Hinton gives America a new kind of anti-hero that finds himself on the unlawful side of society's divide. The Outsiders is one of those very first fictional novels meant for young adults, and since most of them struggle to find their place within their peer groups, the main theme of this novel is acceptance. I guess pretty much every reader can identify with this novel, since we all dealt with the same issues at one point or another in our lives. And Aluxers, if you'd like to learn some more about another author who's not afraid of expressing strong truths in writing, check out our video, 15 Things You Didn't Know About Dan Brown, by clicking in the top right corner. Number 11. The Brothers Karamazov by Fyodor Dostoevsky this epic tale of the Karamazov family that's overloaded with drama, a murder, mystery, and a series of love affairs. Anyone who tries to read this novel must be warned that every page will keep you on your toes because you'll not know what's going to come next. With all the captivating events, Dostoevsky perfectly paints a vivid picture of Russian society at the time, which is pretty much considered the Russian Golden Age. Number 12. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte 
This beloved classic pretty much guarantees to cause any reader to shed a tear or two once you enter the cruel world of our heroine, Jane Eyre. As you follow the story of Jane, you'll see the incredible strength this girl possesses, which she uses on her long quest for dignity and self-respect. Bronte wrote a pretty great novel packed with many lessons taught with the help of Jane Eyre and her strenuous life. Number 13. Daniel Deronda by George Eliot This masterpiece is the final work of Eliot and the most ambitious novel she ever wrote. The protagonist, Daniel Deronda, is used to convey to the reader a time where the moral laxity of English aristocracy mixed with the fervor of Jewish nationalists. His destiny gets intertwined with another main character, Gwendolyn Harleth, while trying to achieve his goal of finding out his origins and his ancestry. George Eliot's controversial way of creating a narrative generates a constant challenge for all of her characters, making it a guilty pleasure for any reader. Number 14. Moby Dick by Herman Melville If you're following our book videos, you already know that this book is very popular even among the most influential people in the world, such as Steve Jobs, Barack Obama, Morgan Freeman, Oprah, and the list goes on. This incredible novel follows the journey of a man who finds himself on a quest for revenge. The obsession of our protagonist to capture the white whale, which bit off part of his leg, turns him into a beast which can no longer lead his crew. This leaves them to depend on one another without the leadership of their captain. There are many great lessons to take away from this timeless novel some of which being knowing when to quit because there's always a new opportunity on the horizon, and to avoid herd-like mentality, which can often be a very dangerous thing. Number 15. Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes This fictional novel will surely take the reader on a surreal experience unlike any other. The main focus of this novel is the exploration of a possibility of what might happen when a person suddenly jumps by leaps and bounds over the social territory they were in all their life. Keyes takes us on a journey of being placed in the mind of a handicapped man who participates in an experiment and suddenly increases his IQ exponentially. Along with this experiment goes a mouse who gets a similar boost in intelligence as our main character. The light and darkness, which are represented by intelligence and ignorance respectively, begin to take a crisp shape when Charlie Gordon finds himself on a roller coaster from mentally handicapped to really intelligent, back to mentally handicapped once again. Well, Aluxers, we hope you found this video insightful and enjoyed part one of the classic books everyone should read in their lifetime. Have you read any of these books? Let us know which ones in the comments. And before you go hop to the next video, here's a special bonus for sticking with us all the way to the end. Number 16. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain It doesn't get any more classic than the great American novel. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn Twain was a brilliant writer and had a remarkable knack for creating characters and purposeful situations. Each character in this novel has a distinct personality that point out specific flaws within society, especially hypocrisy and gullibility. The primary theme in The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn is the conflict between civilized society and natural life, which in Huck's eyes means freedom of the spirit and the desire to escape civilization. And don't forget, Aluxers, you have links to every single book in the description. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.